Uh, hello there everybody, so Roy Clinton here, and I'm back playing on PlayStation. Um, trying to figure out what to play for you guys right now, so this video is going to be a little bit different than the rest. Uh, because I do have quite a few games, some I haven't touched in a while, some I have been playing recently, and trying to figure out what's probably best. I don't think it should be a Monster Hunter World video. And God Eater 3, I'm starting a new character because, uh, a pure virtue of the fact that Jamer is not super playing it as much with me anymore. MK11, I considered, but I don't want to get hit with the flag button. Or not even just, you know. We're going for something safe. We're going for a new breaker. Well, new Gundam breaker. A little something something, you know. Might be one of those make a Gundam and fight in it. Oh, of course the game plays. Gameplay recording block because you entered a, a prohibited scene. It's a loading screen. We don't want to show we don't want you showing this to other people. Ugh. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a bit in a grump mood. Not because uh I haven't eaten yet, even though that's part of the factor. Um, it's actually because of the pure fact that I had to spend time updating OBS. And then I had to spend time updating the video, and this all happened before I could record. I'm sitting in front of my TV, just sitting on my butt, just like, huh. I pulled out my Switch just to be like, I'm just gonna go look at Smite for a bit. So I'm trying to figure out if I should, if I'm going to enjoy or hate Smite on the uh, on consoles. It's, it's weird because like, it it on paper it seems like it works. And yet, I'm concerned. Oh, also, gun new Gundam Breaker had actually caused me to uh, reset everything. Uh, yeah. Ignore the names of the Gundams here. I'm gonna go actually all the way down here. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's go right here. So these are the Gundams I was using for the story mode, uh, as you can see I was playing around the 15th and 16th. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to rename this one to I'm trying to think, what's a good name for, for y'all? Let's call it... There we go. It's the background noise, something cool. Not bad. I promise I'm not going to spend too much time here, that's why I'm... Ooh, that gets a check. Yeah, that's another check. That's another check. No check. Ooh! Keep going. Let's evolve past the... There we go! I'm a sucker for drums in the opening. Oh, and I'm a sucker for piano. I have expected the Frieza song to be playing here. Yeah, 
yes. Uh, and that's all we'll do for now. So, I figured now's a good time to explain to you all that, uh, the series I am most familiar with for these games, while I'm removing all the equipment, is... I know of Gundam... of G Gundam. I know of... the 00 series. And if I so choose, I can watch the Wing series because my brother Jamer loves the Wing series. Alright, so first we're trying to figure out what we want this to be. I figure because this is a recording one, all y'all want to see is big damage and cool stuff. So it's really between the Gunner frame and the Enchanter frame. Um... We'll live dangerously, we'll go with the Gunner frame. Now, I gotta figure out what's a good weapon first before we can start making the Gundam itself, I truly feel. We also need to figure out if we're going for a big boy, which is the master grade pieces, or a normal boy, which is the normal grade pieces. Hmm. Of course, some of these look sillier than the others, and I'm fully aware of that. Like, this, for example. Uh, I also do build models in real life. I've, I've stopped in recent years, but... Uh, I do have some that are sitting in boxes right now that I'm really considering going back to. Because I, I do remember having a lot of fun just sitting down in my grandma's house and building them. Oh, I also do have some restrictions placed on me. This is not so much, um, like, uh, it's hard to explain. I do it out of respect for Jamer, because as I've said before, I, the, the, the Wing series I know of, but I don't, you know, I guess Partaken would be the best one to say. Uh, there's, there's a way to explain this, but I'm not doing that correctly. I guess the easiest way of saying this would just be... The Wing series is kind of off-limits to me. And that's not, you know, because Jamer's a jerk or anything, or he, he, he doesn't believe I'll show respect. It's more along the lines of... I do it out of respect to him. He loves the series. He, honestly, he could sit you down and explain to you a lot about the Wing series. It is his literal favorite. Like, he, it, it, that is his beloved series. His honestly beloved series. He has been a fan of it since it came out. I'm pretty sure he's watched all the videos of it since it came out. You know, there, there's, there's no, you cannot look at him in his face and tell him he does not like the series. Because he will laugh at you. Ooh, I do remember we have the pistoles. The rifle shorty? Yeah, here we go. Alright, so we got our weapon. Let's figure out how we're making this guy look. We got some time. Uh, we might go for the non-Gundam heads. It looks good enough. I will be paying attention to the um, skills as well. Because a big part of this game is the skills, if you remember when I played it a while back. Um, not a big fan of the antenna skill, because all it does is show you the map. Oh, and please, if I don't know the series and you're a big fan of it, I apologize. I'm not gonna say anything I think is dumb. Except for the fact that I'm not the biggest fan of the Seed series. Now, I will fully admit this is because of an interaction that was had in the Gundam Dynasty Warriors game. If you're curious about that interaction, I will share with you now. This scene basically sums up to Join me! I cannot! Join me! Okay. 
Now, if this was an actual part of the Seed series, no. And you will never convince me that it's worth watching if that's something that actually happens. No. no I, I am entirely sorry, but no. The join me, but no, you really should, is stupid. Entirely stupid. It makes no sense. Like, oh, um, I should also mention, the series, the, the Gundams that I am allowed to use from Jamer's favorite series are the Shenlong and the Tall Geese. Just like how, for my own sake, he doesn't use any of the double O pieces, except for those from Curios, and I allowed him also Cheridum. Because both Lock On and Hallelujah seem like characters that Jamer would like. Again, this is all as just a means of respecting my brother's favorite uh, Gundam. That's all. Might go for a part repair here, because I keep finding myself losing pieces because my teammates don't help me! Hope Control's another good one. Oh, and don't let the names conf uh, confuse you. The Pike is the Ilgitsunk. They're all the same thing. I do like Destiny Gundam, so... Uh, I'm gonna go for a dumb, I might... I'm just kidding. I really do like the... I am not gonna pronounce the name. This golden headpiece, so I might just hold on to that for now. The Amatsu I actually have built in real life. Um... So I can say I, I, I'm a big fan of the design, and like if I build it, you know, I'm not just building it cuz. I'm pretty sure I did build one of the blue frames, and it might be in the game too, but I'm just not entirely sure. The Curios Pass is also another good one. And then with Virtue, although I'm not a big fan of Virtue's chubby cheeks. The Archer's not bad for that same reason, but the golden, like, ponytail thing. Mm -hmm. Song was probably one of the very few headpieces I would pick. Arch will never be touched. I've been using the Dolo Quanti a lot, though. Dolo is another decent one. I am really kind of wanting to use the Dark Hound as well. Oh, it has an eye patch. I really might just go for it. You know, screw it. We're using twin pistols. We got a, we got a big weapon. We're gonna make this basically a pirate. Yeah, pirates. Or I could just make FNAF. Yeah, you guys want me to do that? Just have some certain Gundam New Breaker episodes dedicated to making FNAF. Now I really wouldn't be able to make Freddy. Uh, we can also go assimilate with. Bur build burning. Look at this double O diver. Looks really cool. Yeah, alright. So we got the body set up and now what's uh what's the pirate to do? That headpiece is very dark though. self offensor Overdrive, which is a big favorite of mine. Never use this chest piece, mostly because it's a thick, thicker one, and I'm not the hugest fan of that. The buff seems nice, although most of the buffs amount to speed-ups, unfortunately. Except for Assimilate. Assimilate is dope. Go for Cheridum. The multi phase beam does seem cool. I guess we're looking for the enough thruster capacity to get us out of problems. Although, again, we are making a pirate, so. 
I think we'll go for the offensive. Oh, no, we should probably go for a defensive boost here. Yeah, something with nice thruster capacity while also giving us a defensive boost. That's that's what we're looking at. Now, ooh, hello. That looks pretty cool. Look like an actual Gundam piece too. Well, I mean, Gundam, not mobile suit, because that's what the Zaku's basically are. And that's just silly. I do like the camphor, and having something close to get him off me isn't too bad. Although acceleration might be nice here to get away from things. And the very and that's a very nice giant defensive buff to the whole unit to the unit as a whole. I probably should be paying attention to since the pure virtue of the fact that I am a very squishy frame. And the less defense, the more chance I have of getting knocked out before I can even do anything. Ugh, I'm really not a fan of these models that have a giant amount of stuff on them. Or that just have derpy arms. Or they have gigantic arms. Uh, the Zeta plus AI might be good, and it's a very nice stun down too. It really fits with the pirate theme as well, of just punching your foe. So I think we'll go with this for now, mostly because I'm spending a lot of time on this. Although I think everyone prefers that by hearing my thoughts on certain pieces and such. Akashiki J. I'm not really looking for anything with. Hmm. I might be looking for an Earth Shaker here. Something to really provide that nice little bit of extra defense while still keeping us, you know, moving around. Meteor Strike's another good one too because it just gets them away from us. Photon Bomb is dumb! I will admit that, and I will say it to your face if you like it. It is dumb. Anything with full vernier. The Zombinia might be nice for a little bit of extra defense, and by that I mean the skill itself. I've used the skill. The Zab... The Zabanya. I'm saying it right, okay. I looked at it just now, I'm like, oh, I might be saying that wrong. You go for, uh, but that just looks dumb, even though it has trans M. The armor Snyder! It's dumb, too. I do like this, though. And this. Prototype Beam Taper could get some people off us as well. We're really looking for stuff that increases the defense while also having skills to get people off of us. And, of course, fits aesthetically. Oh, don't worry about the colors, I will fix that. I go for the air shaker of the blitz here, so it has defense, movement speed, and again, it's another get off me skill. Hold on to that for now. There's the buster leg as well, which has a lot of nice long range capability to it. Never used a sonic blast though, and I never will because that, those legs are dumb. To me, by the way. Remember, whenever I say anything is dumb or looks dumb, it is to me. You are free to disagree with me. I do not make the rules. Yet. I'm kidding. Chen Long might be nice for the Meteor Strike as well. Plus it gives that, just that, just that smidge extra defense that puts us past 300. And it looks nice aesthetically. I always go for Noble and have my high heels and miniskirt. Rose fits in aesthetically here as well. Dragon fits in a little bit aesthetically here as well. Masters fits in aesthetically. Rising not so much. 
victory. And some legs, man. It looks, it looks good. Don't get me wrong, it looks good. Just, err. Ah, oh, but Psycho Field might be just what we need to keep us safe. Okay, let me check this still. Yeah, we gotta keep the Psycho Field. Okay, so that's that's our that's our legs piece. We are going well past the time limit, but I figure I should build this mech so I have something to use for you guys, exclusive to you guys. The Astroff Demolition Knife might be nice for getting people off me as well. Buffalo Impact's good for getting me out of there. Blast Tackle's good for getting people off me. Uh, there's also just the Trans M for speed, and nice boosty too. Particle Bomb, as I said, is dumb! This is also dumb because of how it looks, but that's it. Assimilate's good as well, even if it does leave me a little bit vulnerable. I will never wear a bear guy, don't you worry. Uh, look at here, there's something really damaging or really good. Like a Trans Am. Action buff might not be terrible either, neither with the GM missiles. Technical Arms S or Technical Arms G. So, so either close range or long range. Really curious. I'm a big fan that doesn't up our defense by a lot. Uh, the Amatsu's another good get off me and you'll be punished for it. What is the alternate skill here? Because I know the grab. Shoot an anchor to pull him closer. That's exactly what we don't want. Uh, that's not bad, and the hyper beam might be cool. Never tried out the Super Dragoon. Dragoon system might also be kind of cool, and and so fit the theme. Agni, no. I'll find something, don't you worry. Uh, you know what? We're gonna go for the Gundam DX, actually. If we can find something that's better, we're gonna keep the DX. Although I really do like how the X divider looks. And this is an actual frame that fits it fits it to look nicely. You know, it's better than this one. Don't even look at those, only look at the tall geese. Wings of Light might also be able for getting us out of places, too. What is the VSBR? You know what? I think we'll go for that. I think we will stick with the Gundam F91. Oh, but the eye field is a passive. We gotta go for the passives. Uh, but have I broken my claws? Unicorn Gundam 03 Phalanx versus... Ooh, It is breaking my claws. We don't have fine new legs. Head and arm. <laughs> Buffer defense.
Never break claws, ladies and gents. I'll find something, don't you worry. We will go for the Earth Shaker then. There we go. Now all parts are different. All right, and last but not least, the shield. Now I believe that pirates use a smaller shield than most. Perfect. Actually, we're just gonna see if that's one of the more defensive ones. GN field, GN field, GN field, ball mode. Shield bass, shield strike, stars and stripes. Maybe it looks kind of dumb in retrospective. Shield toss might be funny. Oop, but we got another passive. And I do believe they, f they stack. remember that. If that wasn't dumb, we'd be using that one. Yeah, uh, we're just about good here. Um, and we've went way, way over the limit. Don't worry about this, by the way. I'm not going to put on any uh, builder parts. Uh, if you're curious, here's how a few look. The horns. Nails. Which are basically claws. The drill, which comes out your knee for some reason. The face, little bunny-like tail in the back there. The ply code, which is a facial added piece, which clips a lot. Sensor cover, stabilizer, which is in the back there, as you can see. A large booster, which is always funny to me. I did actually make these look cool at, in a model once. Actually. Yeah, we're going to continue with the building of the model and hopefully actually getting into a fight in the next episode. But until then, I thank you for watching. I just want to say, laters.